are you ready to learn how to make a pecking bird with origami folding? What we're going to need is one square of paper and then we're going to learn how to fold it in these different directions. So when we're done, you'll see these lines. We're going to start with our square of paper and it tells me I need to fold it from this side to this side. So I'm going to take this and fold it like this. I need to line up my edges and make it as straight together as I can. And then I'm gonna go in the middle and just like that. All right, did you see how I did that? I started with my piece of paper and I folded it this way to the right. After I get done with that, I need to open it up and my book tells me now I need to fold it down. So I'm gonna start at the top and I'm going to fold it down. And again, I'm gonna match up the edges. I'm gonna turn it a little bit so you can see my edges. And I've got it out of my way. There we go. And I crease it like this. When I open it back up again, I have four squares. You can see all four squares. The next part, it tells me I need to go from the outside corner to the inside corner with all four pieces. These are gonna fold down and these will fold up. So here we go, we'll start with this one. And we're gonna fold it like this and bring it to the edge. And you won't be on top of a book. And that'll make it easier for you. And fold this one down. And I want to make it by the line. Do you see that? Okay. And then this one. And after you folded three of them is when it starts to look like an envelope. You'll see that right there. And let's do this one and fold it in. We have one square made out of four triangles. Our next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have this not laying as a square. And let me get the book out of the way now, because we're going to this, not that part, this part. And this tells me I need to fold this side just this much of the side to touch the middle. And then this edge here is going to touch this middle. So I'm going to get the book out of the way, make it into a diamond shape. And I start here, find my corner. My corner is not going to go to the middle. It's going to go below the middle and look like this. When I get done with this, it'll look more like an upside down kite. There's one side, and then fold the other one over. And you see how this is all in a straight line here? Crease my edges, and I want you to notice also there's a little bit of a space between these sides. We'll need that. Once you have this upside down kite, see that? That side looks like this. Turn it back over and fold these sides together. And then it makes a very strange looking triangle. Now we're ready for the hardest part. We are going to take this and stick our finger in the skinny part right here. Stick your finger right there in that skinny part and put your finger there. Pinch it below your finger and then push with your other hand to make the beak. And it looks like this and then we're gonna squeeze like this. After you squeeze, you might have to fold a little bit more, but then it's gonna be like this and let me scoot it over. And you'll be able to tip it like this. 
and the side of it looks like this, and you'll be able to put your eyes on there. And that is your pecking bird.